an understatement to say that my childhood was crazy. If you don't believe me, it can be perfectly exemplified by the fact that my parents had a two-year-old and a one-year-old with twins on the way. I know it's hard to imagine four kids under the age of three, but my parents proved it possible. In fact, I'm the youngest product of the insanity and definitely did not make anything easier on my parents. My mischief actually commenced right at birth as I was breached. My mom calls the 20 minute span between Andrea and my birth the longest 20 minutes of her life. But the absurdity certainly did not end there. Instead, it persisted and gradually escalated as my siblings and I grew up. From a very young age, we constantly demonstrated the concept of imitation. We loved to reenact things we had seen on television. For instance, it became habitual for us to partake in a live roleplay of Pokemon or Roly Poly Oli. By portraying these various characters, we definitely enhanced our natural, crazy personas. However, Andrea and I's bold persona did not transfer when we were in public settings. We were probably the most shy, introverted little girls in the world. In fact, our timid personalities were so intense that they got us kicked out of preschool. Every day, we each secured ourselves upon our mother's leg as we entered the school, wailing. And as the teacher peeled one of us off, the other would immediately jump back on. They finally told us that we weren't ready and that we could maybe try again the following year. So, rather than conforming to the social norm, our shyness caused us to rebel. However, as I grew, instead of it stimulating my rebellion, my bashfulness caused me to conform, especially when I moved from Norton to Colby in the first grade and had to start a new school. The new rules and people that accompanied this transition petrified me. I remember my first day. As I rounded the corner to the playground, I began to cry. One girl, who is one of my best friends to this day, comforted me and reassured me that everything would be alright. She put herself in my shoes for that moment, and I will be forever grateful for her because of it. As I grew up and got involved in various activities, my shyness gradually decreased. However, it did not completely diminish until high school when I started forensics. Through this activity, I revived my childhood mindset in the imitating game. I always channeled it as I performed, and I steadily fell in love with acting. The whole social environment only escalated this acquired love, and it made me the confident person I am today. Overall, these unforgettable life experiences certainly justify my existence as a social creature whose experiences have shaped the identity that currently withstands to this day.